Thank, thank you, President. Um, I appreciate the opportunity just to, to briefly uh, correct the record on a few things. In the early hours of Saturday morning, we heard much about the need to have a respectful com uh, conversation for it to be grounded in fact. And there were just a few things that, are, that I think have been said this morning that are already uh, bordering on misinformation, if not well into that territory. Uh, Senator Cash asserted that Australians have an equal say in this referendum. I would like to point out that Australians who live in the territories only count for half. We only count for the, for the total national vote. You don't actually look at the, the, the territories' votes. Uh, the other assertion was that this is uh, adding race to the Constitution. Race is already in the Constitution. This is about ensuring that First Nations people, Australia's first peoples, have a say on issues that affect them. And after 10 years where we've seen things not improve, it makes no sense to hear arguments to say, well, we shouldn't change anything. Yes, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. But if it's broken, it requires fixing. And this is an opportunity to fix it. Senator Namtrupa Price uh, referred to this as Labor's voice and the Canberra voice. That is blatantly untrue. This is the result of one of the most consultative processes in Australia's history. Order. The Uluru State from the Heart was presented to the former government in 2017. It is a generous offer of a way for us to truly move forward, to address the entrenched disadvantage that we talk about so much here in the Senate chamber.